Okay, guys. Uh, yeah. So we're waiting for the OPEC announcement, whether they're going to take cuts or not. Uh, we've been waiting for this, and the oil market is freaking out. As you can see here, there's a lot of fluctuation going on, and it's probably the first time I'm seeing this. <clears throat> well, first time now. <clears throat> now I'm seeing this. All the puts are in negative territory, most of them. Uh, except for these ones up here but they're very far away from the money and also even the calls are in negative territory so the puts and calls are both in negative territory which is really strange the market's really confused and doesn't know what to do um, <clears throat> our portfolio here it's been around there all day then it uh, crept up to plus 2600 and then there was a freak out then this shake came and our portfolio went up 7,000, went down minus 4,000, went back up 3,000, went down, and it's just been chaos. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't show you at the time, it was just so quick. So uh, <clears throat> now I'm just watching, waiting to see what's going to happen, waiting for the announcement to come out. It might be the case that I've got to take some kind of drastic action. It might not pan out as expected because these option prices are behaving not quite as I've well expected. So as a precaution, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to look at my positions and I'm going to see how much they were swinging by. You see that last hour there? How much it was swinging by? So it literally went to 1.8 in a moment. Uh, okay. So I'm going to set some limits here. I'm going to set this at 2.5. Now I may revise that again, I'm just going to set it at 2.5 just in case there's some more crazy swinging and I'm not uh, I'm not quick enough to take some action. Okay, guys, we're coming to the close of the US uh, trading day, and uh, tomorrow is uh, is a bank holiday, so the markets will be closed. And we've also got the expiry coming up for these options on the following Tuesday. And on Monday is bank holiday in some European countries as well, like UK. So we're in a bit of a dilemma because nothing actually happened, nothing dramatic uh, as we wanted uh, after the OPEC meeting. Um, yep, the oil price has been falling, but again, it wasn't as... Uh, as dramatic as we needed it to be. We needed the oil price to fall quite dramatically, close to around 22. It was close enough, 23.5, but not just enough, or dramatically increase. Um, so, as you can see, it's a bit of a sideways movement, really, and that's the biggest trap of uh, options trading. If you get your strikes um, wrong, so to speak, and the price is moving sideways, that could um, damage you. So see we're on a loss of uh, 3,000 um, which is alright you know you gotta win sometimes you win sometimes you lose uh, we're still up um, overall so that's all good and it's only been what a week that we've been trading so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close all our positions and hopefully next week we're gonna have the June options and we're going to go in on the same positions all over again at the better price because we're expecting oil to actually fall further because the OPEC meeting was quite a disappointment and uh, there was no uh, agreement to uh, sufficient oil cuts, oil production cuts, sorry that is. Um, so yeah, we're going to close with the expectation that oil will fall further close to around the 20 mark again, in which case we'll get some uh, solid uh, opportunities to get some positions in. So here we go, we're going to go for this, I'll just start here. 
as you can see some puts are in profit um, there's a lot of value still left in our options so it's better to salvage this value rather than let it expire I'm <laughs> sorry.